there, it's Carol with Carol B. Crafts. In this video, we'll be making this lovely Christmas card. It's project number four and my Perfectly Plaid Class to Go. The Perfectly Plaid Class to Go centers around the Perfectly Plaid stamps and the Pine Tree Punch, and they're sold as a bundle in the 2019 Holiday Catalog. Now if you don't have the kit, uh, no worries, I'll give the dimensions as I go along so that you can make this lovely card with us. Now for your inks, you will need Shaded Spruce and the new Delicata Golden Glitz ink. For your adhesives, you'll want to grab your snail, your glue dots, your mini glue dots, and your um, multi-purpose glue. You'll want some scissors, a bone folder, and I'm using the Take Your Pick tool, but you could use whatever pointy tool you use. So there won't be any die cutting, but you will need your Stamparatus or Stamp Positioner. So I'll clear this away so we can get started. So I have my Stamparatus set up for photopolymer sh stamps and I'm using this new deluxe a foam mat or pad that is in the annual catalog and I'm loving it. It has a plastic like coating uh, to prevent staining. We only have a little bit of stamping to do. We're going to stamp the May This Special Season Be Wrapped in Love and Joy. We're going to stamp that in our Delicata Golden Glitz ink and then we're going to stamp Hoping That Your Busy Year Comes Together in Christmas Cheer. We're going to stamp that in our Shaded Spruce. So from your kit, you're going to want to get your Whisper White label, and I give you two. You only need one. This label is die cut from the Ornate Frames dies. It's this die right here. This is comes as a bundle right now with the Monster Bash stamps. So I cut two of those. So we'll be stamping on that for our front, and then on the inside sentiment, we have four and three quarters by three and a half. Whisper White. We'll be stamping on that as well. I think I forgot to tell you that you will need your 4x6 plastic sheet. So you're also going to want a piece of scratch paper as well. So we're going to put our 4x6 window sheet here in the corner and hold it in place. Make sure it's nice and snug in the corner. Get our stamp which will be May This Special Season Be Wrapped in Love and Joy. And we're just going to put that down here um, near the bottom and we're going to pick that up and put this here just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere too far anyway. So we're going to ink that up with our Delicata Golden Glitz. You don't have to ink it up too well because we're just going to make an impression uh, to guide us as to where we want to place. Be sure you keep that in the corner. Take your, one of your labels and put a tiny bit of a snail on the back and then put it on your scratch paper and we're going to slide this under our plastic and this is going to position our stamping right perfectly on our label. So when you're happy with the placement you're going to put this in place, hold down your paper with your magnets re-ink our stamp with our golden glitz and then stamp our image. I'm going to pull it up gently because it is photopolymer. Okay, I'm happy with that so well mm, maybe just a light, one more light touch there just to make it stand out a little more. Okay that looks great. So we're going to clear all this away and clean off our stamp. So we're going to clean off our plastic sheet because we'll be using that again. We'll dry it off with our microfiber cloth. So we'll put our stamp away and we'll get the next stamp that we're going to be using which is the Hope your busy year comes together in Christmas cheer. So we've cleaned off our plastic 
sheet and we're going to put that in place and put our stamp down and pick that up. I'm going to try to make it a little straight. Now this is a photopolymer stamp so you don't have to do it this way. You might feel comfortable just laying your stamp on directly on your cardstock but I, I just do this. It's not a problem for me so I just do this as a uh, just to make it easy on myself get it right the first time so I'm going to take my shaded spruce span and then stamp my Christmas cheer now this is landscape so we're going to stick this in landscape under our plastic and then put it where you want it just I'm going to put mine right about there hold it in place with the magnet and then ink up your stamp with your shaded spruce and we are done with our stamping so we're going to bring in the items from our kit we'll get our Thick Whisper White card base. Now this is uh, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We get our bone folder, and we're going to crease that hole. We'll go ahead and do the inside of our card, which is a little different from what we normally do. We have a piece of shaded spruce. For the inside sentiment, it is um, five by three and three quarters. Five by three and three quarters. And this is going to go on top of that. And I'm going to put that on with snail. Now we're ready to decorate the outside of our card. And we'll start with. Um, we have a piece of shaded spruce that is uh, five and three eighths, five and three eighths this way by two and five eighths that way. And that's going to be pretty much our base. We have a piece of the um, DSP, and the DSP that we're using is the wrapped in plaid DSP. It's six by six. It's in page 14 of the holiday catalog. So I have a piece that is um, five, five and three eighths wide by two inches high. And I'm going to put that on my piece of shaded spruce with one eighth of an inch at the top. And I'll put that on with some snail. So just, a, just about one eighth. If it's a little bit more, that's okay. Okay, so we have that. Now we want to make our trees. We only need three, but we have actually enough to make six. So you might be able to make another one of these cards or if you wanted to make another one. Let's see now. So we need of the green with the dots, we need one. So I'm just going to punch one out here. And then we need one with the red. Here we go. Red. Don't get these two mixed up <laughs> because we actually want the striped side. These two look very similar. The, these are diagonal lines. The gold lines are diagonal. These are horizontal and vertical. So be sure that you, I guess you could always reverse it <laughs> if you did stamp it. If you did punch it, you could just reverse it. but. It's best to punch it right the first time. Now we're going to take our gold, which is the gold foil sheets, five and a quarter by two and a quarter, and we're going to die cut, we're not die cut, we're going to punch three of the gold trees out. And I'm going to punch it that way, then I'm going to punch it this way, and then I'm going to punch it this way, just to make sure I have room for all of my trees. There we go. 
So that's what it'll look like when you're done. These are going to go behind our trees, our DSP trees. And we're going to put these on with glue. We'll be sure not to get glue on your, well I guess it wouldn't show that much, but try not to get glue on your gold foil. So we're going to offset these. We're not going to glue them perfectly over it because that wouldn't make any sense. So we're just going to offset it so that there's just a tiny bit of gold shadow underneath the tree just like that if you can see that. So that's what we're going for. So we'll go ahead and glue these on. Alright, so we're ready to put these on and we're going to put these on with glue dots just to make it easy. Put the red one on in the center. Start in the center and you can find the center. If you have grid paper, you can kind of just find where the center is. Count the squares, three, six, nine, ten and a half. Three, six, nine, ten and, and a half. It's a little more than a half. But I'm going to use that line to um, help me place. Now I want to leave enough room at the top so that my star isn't going to hang over that green. So I'm going to put it about here. Right there. That's good. And I'll put the other two on. Now this is ready to go on the front of our card. But first we're going to put, we have two pieces of some of the other, some more of the DSP, and it is each one of these is one inch, five five and three eighths inches wide by a one inch high. We're going to bring in our card base. We're going to put these a sixteenth of an inch, or even spacing all around top and bottom. So I'm going to use glue for that. Okay, be sure to get any glue off, off of your fingers. Now this, before we put this on right here, we've got to put our ribbon on. And we're going to put our ribbon on around here down at the bottom. So on the back, we're going to put some snail. Might be better to do it this way since it's so close to the bottom edge. Bring in our gold um, shaded spruce gold striped ribbon. It's seven inches. It's going to go around the bottom here. Get even distances on the edges and then even put it in the center of that uh, shaded spruce that's showing and just push it in the back. Bring it around to the other side and then push it in. Make sure that it's even. Now that's ready to go on um, the front of our card like this. But I think I might put a piece of uh, just one little glue dot. Get my take your pick tool, take the point and just pick up one of those glue dots and kind of put it there so that ribbon doesn't move around too much. And some of that will be covered up by our label anyway, but it, it's best, I just like to keep it from moving around. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the front of our card in between the gap that you see there. So I'm going to put that on with some snail.
that's in place. Now we want to do our, our label. It's going to go right about there over the ribbon. Now this label is um, it's two and seven eighths. I started out with cherry cobbler, two and seven eighths by one inch. And then I took my half inch punch right here and I put on each corner, I put it in one quarter of the way and then I punched it on each corner. So I took out that corner and that made the background for my label. I'm going to put this on with snail. Um, I guess before I put that on, I want to go ahead and put my label on the front. It would be easier. So we're going to put our label on the front here. And I'm going to use glue for that, again, because I can move it around if I need to. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry just a minute. Bring in your, your gold stars and your uh, this I have some of the basic jewels rhinestones I've covered I colored them with the bullet point of my dark cherry cobbler stamp and blends to make them match and then these little stars uh, they have adhesive backing on them I use some of my adhesive sheets I put the adhesive sheeting on the back and then I die cut it with the very smallest stitched star die from the Stitch Stars dies. And that comes as with the So Many Stars stamps as a bundle. Okay, so I think this is uh, dried enough. I'm just gonna put, I'm actually, okay, <laughs> so you can see here, between here, this is perfect size for the snail to fit in there. I am going to do a, a thing of snail all the way across there. And then I'm going to put this about three eighths of an inch from the edge of the, the white and match it over here, over my DSP, over my ribbon. <laughs> so now I'll get my take your pick tool and put these in place just kind of here in the center on the side to give it a little bling and then make sure those are straight straight enough and then for my stars since they have adhesive backing on them I'm just going to remove that adhesive backing once I have the adhesive backing off I'm just going to go up here the top of my tree and put these on. Okay, so we are finished. So I hope you've enjoyed making this uh, lovely Christmas card with us. It's somewhat simple if you needed to make multiples of it for your Christmas cards. Uh, this is project number four in my Perfectly Plaid Class to Go. Check out my website, www.carolbcrafts.com, to see what current class kit I'm offering. Thanks for watching. Bye now. <music>